When a Ford Escape Hybrid refuses to go into EV mode, or basically turn off the internal combustion engine, it might be because you have a bad hybrid battery cooling fan. And some symptoms of this are worse gas mileage and, well, the engine just stays on all the time. And the reason it's doing this is because if one or both hybrid battery fans are faulty, the air conditioning compressor is ran off of the engine and it'll try to cool down the battery by using the actual air conditioning system to cool off the hybrid battery. But there's a chance that on some of these, your AC could be set to maximum AC in these uh, first gen escape hybrids or in the later ones you could have economy mode set to on or set to off. In that case, the um, because the AC compressor runs off of the gasoline engine, the engine just doesn't turn off. Such is life. So, if you do have a bad hybrid battery fan, you will have some diagnostic or diagnostic trouble codes uh, stored in the computer. One of those being for a open circuit on the hybrid battery fan. I'll show you how to run a self test for these hybrid battery fans and then I'll show you how to install a new one. A new battery fan here. These are pretty expensive. One of these for a remanufactured one was $170 on Rock Auto. Um, brand new if you want two fans. Um, they are about a little over $400, but they are brand new and they are made by Ford. So just keep that in mind. But if it gets you better gas mileage and improves the longevity of the battery, I'd say it's worth it. Now, just a little uh, word of caution. If you do replace the hybrid battery on one of these vehicles uh, later on, um, take the fans with you if you've replaced them and keep them as spares in case you're, if you buy a junkyard battery um, and those fans are not working, you can just put those um, in the replacement battery. Let's get started. With the carpet over the battery lifted up and out of the way, we're going to remove our high voltage battery fuse. Get that up and out of the way. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And then there are some bolts under here that you can't see. Um, so around 20 or so um, bolts to remove to get this cover off. And this is a security T30 uh, Torx bit. And then to get this plastic cover off, that is an eight millimeter socket. So what I'm going to do is run a self-test on the battery control module. And I have this connected with a USB OBD2 um, adapter, which supports MS CAN and HS CAN. This is not that expensive. It was about $18 on Amazon. So we're going to hit BCM or battery control module, and we're going to hit run service procedure. Vehicle is in accessory mode at the moment. We'll find out here in a moment. So with the battery cover removed, you can see that this fan is running and this fan is not. It's just not running at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this fan. So here's the old fan. Just undoes from that connector right there. And uh, because these are so expensive, I'm going to try and rebuild this um, and see just went wrong. what went wrong. So just set that out of the way for now. It's a little difficult to get these fans in because they have to be slotted in properly. This part has to go under a few catches. Okay, so here's the new battery fan. It is installed. Got the ground connected as well as the wiring harness. Now let's run that test. All right, with the new fan in, we're going to go back to the battery control module test. And now, as you can see, both fans are spinning, so the diagnostic trouble code should be clear. Let's go back to the computer and take a look. 
Back at the computer, we no longer have a diagnostic trouble code for the battery fan, so let's put everything back together. And so the hard part definitely is getting this cover back on the battery with the battery outside of the vehicle. But if it saves you from having to remove it, then I'd say it's worth it. I apologize for the abrupt ending to this video. I know it was pretty sloppy to begin with, but I hope it gives you a good idea on what to look for when diagnosing this problem. After the vehicle gets up to operating temperature, you will notice the engine will turn itself off when stopped or coasting below 40 miles per hour. Links to the tools used will be in the video description, and as always, thank you very much for watching.